Minwax presents Just Ask Bruce. One of the great things about my blog are all the letters I get from readers just like you. Take this one that Jeff and Philly sent me not too long ago. Hey Bruce, I just bought an unfinished end table for my living room, but I'm trying to figure out what color of stain I should use. Do you have any advice about how to pick the perfect color? I sure do, Jeff. First thing you want to decide is whether you're going to match your end table to something in your house, such as a piece of furniture you already have, or maybe the woodwork in the room. Or are you going to start from scratch and you just want to pick out the perfect color? Well, the good news is Minwax wood finish stains come in 26 different colors, which makes it easy for you to match anything in your house or just to pick out a color that you really like. And the first place to start is by looking at the color samples either in the store or at minwax.com. We have to keep in mind, Jeff, that wood is a product of nature and all wood has its own natural color and that's going to affect the final results. So just to give you an idea, I took two boards here, a piece of oak and also this piece of pine, and I put the same stain on each one, early American, and you can really see the difference. And that's because each board has its own grain pattern, has its own natural color, and absorbs stain differently. And that's why, Jeff, probably the best tip I can give you is to never start staining on the front of your piece. Turn it around and do a test on the back, on an inconspicuous spot that nobody else except you is going to see. That way you can make sure you're going to get the color that you want. Now, one of the things we realize today, Jeff, is that many woods take a stain unevenly. And that's why I recommend that before you start, you put on an application of Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner. Now, I did it on this sample board so you could see the results. On this side, I put on the wood conditioner before I stained and see how evenly it was absorbed. On the other side, I didn't, and it turned out very blotchy. Now, there are other factors to consider as well. Keep in mind, the pigments settle to the bottom of the can. Now, shaking won't get them evenly distributed, so always make sure you stir the can thoroughly before you start applying it. Keep in mind as well, Jeff, that the longer the stain stays on the wood, the darker and richer the color is going to be. Now, you need to check the directions on the can that you're using to make sure you don't leave it on too long, because if you do, it'll get sticky and the clear finish you go to put on later won't adhere to it. But the last thing you're going to do is to take a rag and wipe off all the stain that the wood doesn't absorb, making sure that you're always going in the same direction as the grain of the wood. Now, after this first coat dries, Jeff, you have the option of putting on a second coat, especially if you want a little richer, a little darker color. This side has one coat on it. I came back after it dried, applied a second, and you can see the difference. Now, even though Minwax makes 26 wood finish colors for us, Jeff, we don't have to stop there. You can darken any stain by adding Minwax wood finish ebony, and you can lighten the stain by adding the wood finish natural. You also have the option of taking two or three stains, mixing them together to make your own custom blend. But if you're gonna do that, Jeff, I really recommend strongly you measure each of your ingredients and you write your formula down so you can duplicate it later if you need to. Well, Jeff, remember this, you gotta test it first and don't be afraid to be creative. Good luck with your project and before you start your next one, check out our other how-to videos at minwax.com.